you know, the, the technology to its absolute limits right now. Look at the technology we have now, Chris. I mean, we're streaming live right now. You know, we're doing we're doing overdrive, and we're streaming live here to the whole world. Can you imagine, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you would have been burned at the stake as a witch if I told you to be able to do this from your own home. People would say, you need a studio with antennas and all this electricity. And I could be like, dude, you yeah, with a laptop if you really needed to, you know? Yeah. And people would tell you you're insane. But look, yeah, absolutely. Well, I have to say, uh, Bob Lai, that um, at the moment, I believe we are in the golden age of public global communication. And in years from now, when we'll look back in this era, and we will say, wow, that was the period when the whole world was able to uh, converse with itself. I believe that this is a golden age that will soon uh, be terminated. And you can see the termination is already happening. Google, Google Incorporated, which is uh, the search engine that a lot of people use, uh, the other day, I, I clicked on my own search results, and it was being blocked. Uh, YouTube, which is owned by Google Incorporated, is a corporation. YouTube is not a community, it's a corporation. Um, YouTube has already annoyed many people by erasing and deleting uh, a lot of documentary material and other films and homemade clips. The internet is being censored. It's a soft shoe shuffle. It's a velvet roller coaster and eventually you will not be able to post a link on any social media uh, website which points people into the direction of the truth before that link is actually extinguished or disabled. And we, uh, we have to make sure that we do not get uh, hooked on using YouTube or using Google we're using any of these NASDAQ uh, kind of, you know, multi-billion dollar uh, communication sources. We have to have our own internet, our own servers, our own communication lines. We have to be completely independent of those people because, quite frankly, uh, we're in a situation where most people are using one search engine. And if Google do not list something on that search engine, then it's as if those events, those people, those places do not exist. And I want to tell all the listeners right now that there was a major nuclear incident at the old Bury Magnox nuclear plant in October 2011 near Bristol, a city with millions of people last year in the United Kingdom. It was never broadcast by the BBC. There were photographs of people going home, driving, driving home. Those photographs, nearly all of them were wiped from the internet. They were wiped from the search engines. There were black plumes of smoke filling the sky that you could see from miles and miles around. Now, we reported it on Facebook. We had a reporter in Bristol. We had photographs up on Facebook, in Fiji Green magazine, and on the Enigma channel within hours of the old Gory incident. It was never on the national news. It was never carried on the international news. It was a non-event. It was hushed up. Okay, so this is a very, very serious point we're in in history right now. And, you know, I posted up information on Facebook about it, and you get these idiots these complete idiots posting comments saying, well, I can't find any YouTube video about it, so I don't believe you ever happens. I, I know people have been dumbed down to the level, it, it, it's incredible. Uh, and yeah, real. You know, you can't yeah. even have a conversation with them sometimes, and, and it, it's frustrating because they, sometimes a lot of that, though, I find to be, um, uh, a lot of times, especially over the internet, that it's trolls, you know, it's people that are trying to yeah. pick fights for a reason, trying to, and a lot of that is to get you, uh, you get into it, uh, it, it, A, it causes you to waste time, it gets you pissed off, some people after yeah. a while, they, they, they're just tired of it, they don't want to deal with it, and they end up, you know, cutting back on what they do because of it, so it is, 
uh, it, it is an effective tool. All right, on the subject of trolls, this is a very, very important thing that you that you just mentioned. There are not hundreds, but there are thousands of fake profiles on social media networks which are being run by people who deliberately post comments to deflect interest in the subject that you've just posted that uh, spark flame wars, spark arguments, and just generally mislead the public with disinformation. These profiles are being operated on every single social media network you can mention. And some of those profile photos have been collected by my, my people. I've, I've got people that contribute information uh, to Feed Your Brain magazine who live all over the world. And we're not stupid. And there's a lot of us, you know, researching this. And we have found many of these profiles are actually being operated from some central office and that the profile photos are fake. This is a very, very important subject which is never, ever discussed. And I want to say to everybody, if you, if you want to post up some information, you're doing your own in, little investigations or whatever, do not get deflected uh, from your path. Uh, do not get put off. Do not get, uh, you know, uh, angry. Don't enter into any stupid arguments with these people. Delete, delete, delete. You have the power to delete those comments. I agree. Don't, don't let them deflect you from, uh, yeah. you know, they take you off your back. Because a lot of times that's, that's, what, that's what that's for. And you know, the Air Force has, uh, uh, it, it's, it, it, I think even Petraeus admitted it, that the Army has it too. Uh, but it, it's out there that they have uh, computer software that they can mimic one person can be 10 different people online at once. Yes. On Facebook, yeah. monitoring comments and different things and chat rooms or whatever. So, I mean, it, it, they do it. They, when, you, when people say that trolls exist and, and for people to say, oh, you're just some conspiracy nut if you think that, no. It, the military uses programs to monitor Facebook and to actively work against its own citizens. It, so people need to pay attention to this. Uh, Chris, what do you think about 